Hey guys, this is Kale Holton over here at JMAT RV Sales in Poto, Oklahoma. Staying right here in front of this brand new Sprinter 322 BHS made by Keystone. Just want to take you all around a little bit of the outside and inside, show you some high points of the trailer and kind of show you what Sprinter's a little bit about. Right up here in front, just want to note, do have the power tongue jack. It's going to make getting this thing on and off your truck really simple. Sprinters give you a spot for two separate batteries and two separate battery disconnects. So you do have the option for a second battery if you do want that. Really nice feature there. Fiberglass front, <coughs> fiberglass front cap. Also has your propane bottles protected up behind that. You can see those right here. Just unscrew these caps and that'll come off and allow you to get to them. But your propane tanks are going to be nice covered right there. Also a nice feature. Pass through storage right here in the front. Goes all the way across as you can tell right here too. Picnic table, comes standard in all Sprinter travel trailers and fifth wheels. Great feature there that way if you don't want to rain it outside, put it out underneath your awning over here, sit out, enjoy a meal, activity maybe, a cards, domino, something like that. Just enjoy the outside weather if you're at the lake. Or speaking of that awning, do have a huge electric awning with the lovely LED light strip there underneath it. Really great feature, it's going to be a lot of light, it's going to burn for a long time. Friction hinge door. Just gonna stop wherever you want it. Take 15 and 20 mile an hour winds without slamming shut. So it's gonna be real wind resist <coughs> wind resistant. Three step entry in these coach with a big grab assist handle. Two slides on this side. Uh, this top slide right here. You have a spot where you hook up an outside TV, a couple of 110 outlets and a cable outlet right there. So guys can outside and watch your football games at the lake. Just like I said, once again, just enjoy the nice weather. Located in between your two slides here is your hot water tank. Still tank, 10 gallons. So we're going to have to hold plenty of hot water. It is going to be gas or electric, so you can run one or run both at the same time just to really speed up your recovery. Uh, large tires, aluminum wheels. Tell the wide gaps here in your aluminum wheels. Really going to allow some air in there, help keep those brakes cool. Sprinters are also on your correct track, al correct track alignment. So right here behind these tires on each side, you can see this little yellow octagon. Just loosen up the bolts on both sides. You're going to be able to twist that one way or the other. It's going to help realign that alignment system. It's going to be real quick and easy, something you yourself could do if you need to if you're on the road. Or when you brought it in for service, it's going to make it really quick and simple for whoever is servicing your trailer to get it done quickly and get you back on the road. Toy lock here. Maybe you're carrying around a Yeti ice chest, you got kids, bikes and stuff, don't want it to be stolen. Pull that out, lock them up, gonna keep all your stuff on the outside protected. Spare, full spare tire on the back, as you can see right here. 50 amp service, there's your power cord, attachable. 50 amp service is really gonna allow you to have two ACs, which down here in Porto, where we're at in Oklahoma, gonna be a great thing, keeping it cool, hot summers. Satellite and cable prepped already. So you have either one there, part cable, bring your own satellite dish, watch that. Uh, note the switch right here. S Sprinter does have your electric stabilizing jacks in all four corners. So just the hit of a button, you're going to be able to bring those jacks up and put them down. So that's just going to make setting up at the campsite when you get there uh, quick and simple. It's going to save a lot of time. Sewage outlets right here. Uh, this unit actually has two grays and two black tanks. Have two bathrooms. I'll show you that when we get on the inside. So double holding. Even going to have a black tank, two separate black tank flushes. So both your black tanks are going to have those jets inside there. Going to allow you to clean your black tank out. You know, keep that smell out of the uh, out of the coach. Then just moving along here in the front, you'll notice your extra, your separate sewage dump right there along with your other black tank flush and your utility outside shower. This outside, so outside shower is going to be hot or cold water. Great feature. Clean off fish. You know, if you're hunting, take it hunting. Kids at the lake, wash off feet, wash off pets. Really going to allow you to get stuff clean before you go inside. And then just the other side, your pass-through storage over here. And then right next to that is going to be your other button for your front stabilizing jacks and your city water connection and fresh water connection. And then, once again, just want to mention something else about this front cap. You notice how it's rolled over. 
great protection too for water. The water is actually going to have to break this seal and the inner seal right here to make this camper leak here in the front. So not only does it give it a real nice look in the front, great protection. Then up top you have the gutter spout system. So gutter system all the way across on both sides, four inch gutter spouts. Going to keep that rain off the side of your uh, coach. Help keep that streak preventing, keep the outside of this thing looking beautiful. Well, there's just a little bit of this outside. Why don't we just hop in on the inside and show you what it's all about on there. Hey guys, we're here on the inside now, standing in your living and kitchen area. Just walk around a little bit and show you what's about in the kitchen. Uh, first of all, notice you can see how wide this is. Sprinters have a 100 inch wide body, 96 inches wide in your interior space. Widest in their class, that's going to give you a lot of room here along with your slides because they also have the deepest slide in the class, 42 inches deep. So it's going to give you tons of room here on the inside and really make it feel open, give you tons of space. So over here in your kitchen area, three burner cooktop, you got a big oven. You know, if you're out camping, plenty of room for your biscuits or toast. Have your microwave with the full size uh, dinner plate in there. All your drawers in the coach are going to be real plywood construction on these steel roller bearing, roller bearing glides. Great feature, it's gonna be residential just like your house. It's gonna make those drawers really strong and hold a lot of weight. You have your larger eight cubic foot refrigerator. Can be gas or electric. So uh, if you need to cool your stuff going down the road after you're being campsite, if you have a lot of extra food left over, leave that on auto. It's gonna run off your propane going down the road and make sure none of your stuff spools while you're traveling. And then just a bunch of extra cabinet space, pantry space over here. So that's real deep. So plenty of room for our stuff. You want to take an extended trip, not just for the weekend. You have plenty of room for all your stuff because you also have tons of cabinets and drawers over here too, as you can see. So a little place for sponges. Then a big sink, 60-40 split. Going to make this cleaning those ditches a lot easier, especially with your pull-out faucet. Going to be able to spray. This makes washing and rinse, rinsing real simple. And then you get tons of countertop space in here. So Plenty of room to prep all your food. If you're grilling out, if you're out at the lake, steaks, hamburgers, you're gonna have plenty of room to do all your stuff here on the inside. Actually have two couches in here too. A little L-shaped sofa. Actually has some storage underneath it as well. Right underneath there. So you got some good storage there to hide some lake, lake toys, maybe some inner tube, stuff like that. It'll fit in there nicely. Then you have your main sofa, which is a trifold, so that would make a bed if you needed it too. 48 inch deep dinette table too. Also the largest in this class here in the Sprinter. So you're going to be able to have plenty of room at your dining table. That way fit four adults, real simple. The Sprinter also actually has these couple little stools here too. So if you needed to eat some extra gas and with all this extra countertop space, now it becomes extra room to eat on. So great, great feature there. Then right behind me here is your entertainment center. Infinity TV. It's got your residential sound bar going to make the quality of the entertainment system really nice. Not to mention this thing swings out. So if you're at the, you know, eating at your dining table, you can swing it around from the couch, you know, get your angle right so you're not trying to bend your head. And then, you know, plenty of storage space above and below that as well. So tons of stuff here in the living area. Well guys, like I said, this is that living and kitchen area. We're going to go to that back bunkhouse I was telling you about there and show you the bunk room and that second bathroom. See you just in a second. All right, guys, now we're back here in this back bunkhouse in this 322 Sprinter. A little extra sleeping, so if you have kids or just guests, you got a big bunk bed right here. When not using it, it just folds up top of your ceiling. Leaves you with this couch. Great extra entertainment system. You actually have a spot back here where you can put a second TV. But this also makes a bed if you need it to. This just folds over. Those legs, these legs prop down, make you a second bed here so you can sleep plenty of room for extra guests or kids if you have them. And like I said, you do have a separate entertainment center back here, place a set, set a second TV. And you can see all these cabinets, you got a ton of storage back here for all their stuff. So, so if you have kids, a great place for them to sit back and play, kind of do your own thing while you sit up there and do y'all's thing. Then you also have a second full bathroom in this. It's really nice. Porcelain toilet, foot flush, gonna be real sanitary. Large vanity, have its own medicine cabinet and storage. Then it actually its own shower and everything as well back over here. So it's just a full second bath. Like I said, great for having kids. Don't have to worry about taking up two showers. You can take two at the same time. 
time to go to sleep lot is just going to be really nice. Well, this is that back uh, bunkhouse. We're going to go up in the front of the trailer now and check out the master bed and master bath. See you in a second. Back here in this master bedroom now. Just want you to note at first, you can look at all the storage you have in here. Hanging storage on both sides. Storage all the way across the top. A couple little drawers. Even here in the back by your head, you have a little indention here for a little nice stand with 110 outlets on both sides. Great spot for cell phones, alarm clocks, CPAP machines. So it's a great little thing. Spinner is done right there. Put it right by your head so it's going to be always going to be close. Second AC here in the bedroom. Like I said on the outside, it is a 50 amp service trailer. So you do get two ACs. If you live in the south, you know all about that. Really, really great feature. It gets hot down here. Really going to make it easy to cool this trailer off. Especially with the installation. This thing has performance tested. Zero degrees and 100. It's got R20 in your front cap. R30 in your roof. R28 in your floors. R18 in your slide outs. So it's going to be a lot of insulation here. It's really going to make it easy to keep this trailer cool and warm in the summertime. And uh, cool in summertime and warm in the wintertime, I mean, sorry. Uh, and the floor, it's even insulated. Uh, underbelly's actually got forced air into it. So you're going to have heat getting down to your pipe. So if you want to do some wintertime camping, it's going to be really simple in this unit. Uh, but let's work our way in here to this main bathroom. Said so big bathroom, as you can tell. Call to Jack to Jill and get in from your bedroom or from your main hall up here. Large neo corner shower. Has a skylight up above it, so it is going to fit to the taller individual. Once again, you have a porcelain toilet, residential height, foot flush. So this is going to be really sanitary, quick and easy to use. With your vanity over there in the corner, medicine cabin above and below it as well. Then let's just step right here by the front door and kind of show you the control panel. Thing you'd be seeing a lot of here. Control panel, just right as you come in here, control all your main slide outs. You have one slide out, or two slide outs here in your main area, one back in the bunk room. Control all that stuff from right here. Floor lights, you can see right here, little nice little nighttime lights. So walking at night, you can leave those on. You can kind of see where you're going in here. Then you can switch to your main lights, your water pump, your gas side of your hot water heater switch is right here. So everything's centrally located. And then you just have your AC to run your one main AC, which is right here. Like I said, it does have two. So one AC for middle of the coast and then your bedroom AC. Well, guys, if you have any questions about this trailer, just give me a call here at JMAT. You can reach me toll free at 888-293-2211 or at my email at kale at jmatrv.com. Again, that's K-A-L-E at J-A-M-A-T-T-R-V.com. I really look forward to hearing from you and be able to tell you all about these sprinters. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your day.